now we'll learn about load combination so to define load combination it's very important we'll click define before that i will just show you about load case see here everything just one thing model i can uh we will uh, work with that later see here what we have defined in load case a uh, load pattern that is available here okay available here everything now i'll just close it i'll click here defend then we'll go for load combination most important input from us it's load combination so first of all i'll click here add comb now if you add something in your load pattern or if you delete something from load pattern then what you have to do you have to delete that or you have to uh, i mean you have to modify your load combination further but we'll uh, use some technique as i have told you previous that we'll use some technique here so that we can use the, this template anytime or anywhere when we'll work so for that first of all i'll create a load combination its name will be dead load only for dead load okay dead load clear and i will add here all of our dead load with scale factor one so our partition all our float finish our lift lift load okay lfd uh, here we have a defined lf with lift so it will be i will uh, i will add that with a scale factor one now what is the reason here suppose when we are using this load combination or uh, suppose you need to delete your lf okay you need to delete your lf then just simply come here and delete from here and uh, it will be delete but if you need to delete that uh, lf from every combination then it will be very complex and in our load combination as a dead load we'll use that comb clear so I'll click here and everything will be same linear okay dot com again uh i'll click here add combo then live dot although we have only on live load here live load l means live load okay let me check something i'll close it i'll click okay so here load pattern okay d means dead load l means live load but in our load pattern sorry in a load case we can see our we have two live load here if i click here load name load pattern l that means it's live load okay i'll close that and also here these are working as a live load row also we have so what we'll do i'll just click here and i'll modify it with same name okay lr lr or that name will be same lr okay then also for dead load modify see here uh, name will be d also i'll provide this name is d and i think everything is okay this is dead load this is live load row this is live load click ok again i will go here defend a load combination combination see here dead load then our uh, additional float finish and drop flag load it's okay okay now again i'll click here at combo 
will provide it as a live load now from here for live load i will take it we have only on live load at this time but further if we need to provide different different live load then we'll provide different different live now we have some issue what is the issue actually because for earthquake and wind load as a uh, load pattern or as a uh, output of a load we have some issue because if our earthquake or if our live provided live load is if we just go here for mass source see what is our mass source here seismic weight uh, just i have created a sh uh, short note here if our provided live load is if we provide live load more than p okay three kilonewton per square meter then our value here 50% of live load we have to consider for mass source seismic weight as a seismic weight i mean for mass source and if our live load is less than 3 kilonewton per square meter then we have to provide 0 0.25 live load as a mass source is it okay now for that also we will use different mass source or different we will provide different load system so that when we we'll go for mass source then we can uh, define that load also so this is also for live dot okay now i'll just go here i'll close it i'll click okay i'll come here and from load case or let's change it from load pattern for live load here only for live load okay. live load so provide that live load greater than p that means greater than three kilometer Okay, take a per square meter. Get that done. So, for that, I'll just click modify. Also, I will add another live load which is equal to or less than equal to or less than 3 kilometer per square. Also, it will be live load added. See here. We have uh, when we will provide some both are live load, but but when we will provide some live load which are less than three kilonewton or equal to three kilonewton, then we will use that pattern to uh, define our or uh, to assign our live load. And when our live load is greater than three kilonewton, then we will use that one. That's it. Okay. I'll click OK. I'll just come here. Again, I'll go load here. See, this one is OK. But the previous pattern, it's also uh, L. So, what I'll do, I'll just modify it. Here. Get if greater than, then I'll write here. Greater than 3 kilonewton. Get at the trigger Done. So we have uh, provided two live load system. Now also we have to uh, change for that row of live load. So 
basically we provide row fly blood for uh, 4.100 psf or 4.8 kilonewton so it's uh, randomly it's greater than p kilonewton per square meter but okay i'll change it also I'll change it, okay uh, i'll go here as i have told you that we'll uh, create a template like we'll never change it further for row fly blood also just get two combination which is greater than three kilonewton then modify and less than or equal to three kilonewton new okay then click ok go define load case that means okay and we'll change modify greater than three kilometer and it's okay so this is for equal to less than and this is for greater than three kilometer that's it so you have perfectly done it now okay now i'll go for load combination for combination now i'll add new combo for live load live live load and here i will add that two live load this one plus this one okay now you can tell me so what is the difference between them so again i'm clear clearing you when we will provide live load greater than three kilonewton then we will use this option and when you will provide live load less than three kilonewton then we will use that option and uh, this will not uh, or this will not show us any difference here actually it will uh, show difference in our load sorry in our mass source when we provide mass source then it will be actually effective so uh, in our in our i mean uh, now some next lecture i will show you about that mass source so i'll click okay this is for live load and again i will go for row live load okay then i'll click and add that on at very carefully you have to do it so done now we need another thing so what is it we need vertical earthquake load See if I just come here. Let me show you the earthquake effect. We have uh, to here. You can see uh, already. I have discussed in our previous lecture. So here, sorry here. For combination three and four, uh, three, four, and six, we have win load. And for combination five, uh, for combination six and seven, sorry, five and seven, we have earthquake. But here, E earthquake for earthquake, we have two. I mean, effect from both vertical and horizontal. So for that, we have to add our vertical and horizontal earthquake here. That E means for combination five, we have to take E H and E V. That means horizontal earthquake effect and vertical earthquake effect so already we have defined earthquake in a load pattern that 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 value will be that value will work as a horizontal earthquake okay e h and we have to provide another earthquake that will be e v that means vertical earthquake is it clear to you vertical earthquake so vertical earthquake we have to calculate for vertical earthquake that will be I mean by using that equation we'll calculate that 0 0.5 into k is into d clear h into d so what is the meaning of a h a is mean expected horizontal peak ground acceleration in g for dz 3 by 2 zs so z means z means uh, zone coefficient and s means site dependent soil factor is it okay now i'll go here 
so live node is okay row flag node is okay i'll add another combo its name will be vertical earthquake so for vertical earthquake for vertical earthquake i have to take some combo so actually i have to calculate that vertical earthquakes how we can calculate our vertical combo you see our vertical combo will be a multiple multiplication multiplication factor with d that, that means dead load dead load effect so the value of z and s are known to us from code okay so here a h means that value so the value of s and z will be clear or will be known to us from our from code but all the dead load will be unknown so what i will do actually i will just come here and i will create e v that means vertical earthquake with dead load dead load and here we'll get that multiplication multiplication value or when we'll get that value then we'll multiply with that uh, scale factor so at this time it's okay no need to change it ev clear so our all of all our record value that is ready the value we need that is ready here to create our load combination now we'll start creating our load combination 